Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Some of you guys are probably wondering what kind of systems and software we rely on on a daily basis with our work, just like what ticketing systems we use or management software and systems to keep all of our infrastructure and networks running. So in this video today, I will be sharing you all of the systems and software that we use in my current workplace and I will also share what I like and what I don't like about them. This is also to give you an idea on what systems and software to look into if you are interested in getting into IT or if you're looking to switch to a different system for your workplace. This might also be the video for you so if you're interested in today's video please keep on watching and without further ado let's get started. Okay, so first up is the ticketing system and this is where all of our problems live. This is our mostly used system and where the users submit their issues. In our case, we use Fresh Service. It's a good system, straightforward and easy to use. So as you can see from the ticket list, it's easy to see the subject, requester, status, priority and assigned to. I also like that it's easy to filter by different categories if I only want to see the tickets assigned to me and all of my unresolved tickets. There's also a dashboard you can customize with widgets for metrics you want to see like my tickets by status so I know which ones are still open and pending. There's also metrics for the tickets that are still overdue, due today, and open to easily check what we need to prioritize. Another one of my favorite ticketing features is the automation. It saves us a ton of time to manage our tickets, especially if we have a long queue. For example, we have automation rules set in place for tickets with pending requester status. The ticket will automatically close after two weeks if the user hasn't responded to the ticket. Next up is the phone system. Our phone system is Cisco and we use Cisco Unified for our phone setup. We do a lot of tasks here like assigning a phone to a user, changing a user's phone extension, register a new IP phone, and more. Then we use Cisco Unity for voicemail. This is where we set up voicemail for users if they request for it. Next is remote troubleshooting. We use Bomber, which lets us hop into someone else's screen to fix the issue and get out before they ask a million more questions. I personally like using Bomber because we can add it to our computer image so we don't have to install it manually and the user also doesn't have to do extra step when we have to remote end to their computer. Another nice feature is if you reboot the machine in Bomber, you will still keep your connection. There's also other features like adding in the command shell, system info, and registry access without the user having to share their screen. This is neat because IT can do what they need to in the background without interrupting the user's work. Next is 2FA. This is one of the must-haves in security and we use Okta at work. This app is straightforward and easy to set up. We really don't have any issues with it so far, so I like it. Then there's Mobile Device Management, or MDM for short. For anyone who's ever misplaced their work phone or tablet, MDM is our way of making sure devices are secure and if needed, can be remotely wiped. We use Jamf at work because we use iPhones for our work phones. Jamf is a platform primarily used to manage and secure Apple devices like iPhones, iPads, and Macs. This is probably one of the systems that I don't like so far. I'm not a big fan of the UI or user interface because it's hard to navigate, it's confusing, and a little tough to get used to. So in Jamf, this is where we register the work phones and this also serves as an inventory system for our work phones. We also set up certificates like Wi-Fi certificates and we can do a remote wipe, just like I mentioned earlier. Next up is SCCM. We use this to manage all of our Windows systems and machines. We do a lot of tasks here and it's one of our most critical systems. This is where we do our software distribution for the different programs our machines need. 
We categorize the software to different collection and add the client machines as a member. For example, we have a collection for Adobe and the members of this collection are the computers that need the Adobe software. We also do our patch management here. Whenever Microsoft releases their monthly patches every second Tuesday of the month, we deploy the latest patches through the different collection we have here in SECM. So, almost every management we do with our Windows machines are done in SECM. And the last system for today's video is the one we use for remote management, which is called Royal TS. So you're probably wondering what's the difference between another remote management system, which is BombGuard that I mentioned earlier. So the difference of this with BombGuard is that we use Royal TS for managing our systems and BombGuard for troubleshooting user issues in their machines. I really like Royal TS because it's a cross-platform and you can do a lot of different connections like remote desktop, terminal, VNC, SSH, web access, and more. At work, we added all of the systems, servers, devices that we use in IT and it's like a one-stop shop for all the systems we log into. I love that we can just open one program to access all of the different systems we need instead of opening PuTTY for SSH, web browser for a site, and so on and so forth. I also like the different window orientation features so you can look at the terminal side by side when you're doing switch configuration for example. This just makes your job more efficient. Okay, so that would be it for today's video. Those are some of the systems that we use at work. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. Maybe in the next video, I can do a hardware video on all of the hardware that we use. So if you like that kind of content, please leave it in the comment section below as well. And I hope that you guys enjoyed watching today's video and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.